Today I'm going to show you some new Dollar Tree Spring DIYs. I'm going to be myself or I could be someone else. No one stopping me now. First one, I have these Dollar Tree items. Just six pack of cups that I believe I got in the party section. They're just plastic ones. And then I have this self-adhesive wall tile. Kind of looks like um, stone or rocks. What I want to do is make a couple of wishing wells. What you can do is, if you want to see a bigger one, I made one before last spring. You can watch that video. These are going to be smaller. So I bought these cubs because I needed something for this to wrap around. So that's why I just bought these plastic cups. What I'm going to do is take off the rim part. I'm going to cut off about the height of the cup. So instead of using the plastic cups, I'm going to go ahead and use some Dollar Tree vases. This is perfect sizing as far as the height because I don't want it to be that tall. I couldn't use the plastic cups because when I tried to wrap it, it was not doing a very good job. So it's just better to use something sturdy like this. So if you want, you can leave the sticky adhesive on and wrap it. But I I have both of them done right here and now to kind of make the top look a little more finished I'm just going to add some of this uh, rope from Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to create a roof on top with these wood slats. These are from Walmart, but they do sell them at Dollar Tree too. So I'm going to get two for each. And then we're also going to use some bamboo skewers. And I've been having these for a while. They usually put them out, I think sometime now and summer. So I grabbed a few of them because they come with a hundred. So they're perfect. I'm going to use some of those too, and we're gonna paint the wood slats and some of these skewers with my suede paint, so it's khaki. So this is actually several days later. I've just been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes with other things that I'm doing. Not to worry, all good things, and I'm really excited. I'll share that with y'all soon. But anyways, once everything has dried, now I am going to take the dowels and I'm going to cut them down because they need to fit inside of here like this. So I'll have two on the side like that and then the roof will be on top like this. So, so first I'm going to go ahead and glue like this and just kind of figure out how wide you want it or how narrow. All right, so what we want to do is just cut down the little skewers and figure out about how high you want them to go so your roof can sit on top. So I'm going to glue two together like that just so they're a little more sturdy. Or you can use dowels. I don't know if I mentioned that already.
thing was just to take another skewer, cut off the ends to fit on top just so it looks a little more finished. And to the insides, all I did was add some Dollar Tree blue flowers and some hydrangeas. For this next one, I have this two pack of Dollar Tree wreath forms. I'm going to need the outside part of the wreath form. All I need to do is just use my stem cutters to remove the rest and it comes off fairly easily. I wanted to make a floral ferris wheel. I seen something like this on Pinterest but an actual um, big one you would put in your yard and I just thought it was a cute idea to try and recreate. So I need two of those outside wreath forms and once I have that I'm going to use these seed starter pots from Dollar Tree. I thought these were perfect because they're made out of cardboard, so it was really easy to use. So I'm going to use four of them instead of grabbing like a plastic pot. These were so easy to use because I'm going to take a craft blade to just basically poke a hole on the side of them to attach them to the wreath forms. And I'll show you all that in a second. I'm using cable ties to attach them. I have these from Ace Hardware. They were super cheap for a hundred of them. So for the top and bottom one, I'm going to just poke one hole really easily. That's why I decided to grab these pots because they're very easy to use. Once I have it around the pot, I'm going to just attach it around the wreath form. So I'm loosely placing them for right now. That way, once I have all of them on, I can place the other wreath form on top and then I will tighten them little by little as I go. For the side ones, I'm actually gonna place two holes. That way I can add the zip tie and then place it around the wreath form, but on the sides. So um, you'll see how I do that. Now that I have all four attached to that bottom wreath, I'm actually going to repeat the same exact process of poking the holes onto the flower pots but on this side of the flower pots so I can add that top wreath form. To give it a finished look, you want to place the part that you tighten inside of the flower pot so you don't see them and then you're just going to cut off the excess to have it stand up you can get very creative with this next part i'm going to use two dollar tree items um i have this wooden crate and some dollar tree skewers i'm going to place the flower pot ferris wheel inside on top just like that i'm going to add hot glue and glue that bottom pot down onto the, the crate the Ferris wheel is very lightweight. It is not heavy whatsoever because we use those type of flower pots. What I'm gonna do is attach some skewers to the sides of the Ferris wheel into the bottom of the crate. And you'll see how I hot glue that. It's really simple and easy. Like I said, you can be very creative with this part. Um, you can add more skewers. I'm only gonna add two on each side of the Ferris wheel.
Lastly, I went outside and spray painted this whole thing with this Rust-Oleum spray paint. To finish off the Ferris wheel, I added some flowers in there. To the bottom crate, you'll see some Spanish moss. And then, I didn't film this part, but I added some adhesive tile to the sides to cover up that shape cutout that was there. I believe it was a star on each side. And that's what finished the look of the mini Ferris wheel. For this last DIY, I'm going to create a decorative basket with two Dollar Tree baskets. So all I need to do is take both of them and cut off the edges. You'll see where I start to cut. You want to leave some of the side on the basket. And I just use my stem cutters. You can also use scissors. So you can see that I cut them to where the baskets are not just flat. I left a row all around on the sides because that's going to be a way for us to connect them. So all I'm doing is now removing a row at the top. I added this darker tissue paper so you can actually see the baskets better and see what I'm doing because the baskets are like a clear color. What I'm gonna do is take more of those zip ties to connect the two, and I'm also gonna use hot glue. Now I'm gonna just attach them like this. I'm gonna start off by adding hot glue at the bottom and adding some zip ties. I only added three zip ties to the bottom, so I'm just going to remove the excess of that. And you can add one to each little area if you want to. Now what I'm going to do is close the basket and just add one zip tie on each side at the top. I'm not going to add them all along the side because that kind of defeats the purpose and you're going to see the zip ties. Um, it just looked better to me adding one on each side. So I took the basket outside and spray painted it with that same spray paint I used earlier. Once that was dry, I am adding some of this ticking fabric to the top. So I'm just going to wrap it around the top area and stick it inside of the basket. 